Introduction You see a large variety of animals and plants in your surroundings. They all are of various shapes and sizes and also look different to each other. But one thing is common in all of them. They all are made up of a small unit of life, that is, cell. So in this module, we are going to learn about cell and its structure. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to know about the cell and its discovery, define unicellular and multicellular organisms, describe the structure of cell, explain the structure and functions of plasma membrane, cell wall, nucleus and cytoplasm. Introduction of Cell A cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. Experiment Take a small piece of an onion and peel off the skin with the help of a pair of forceps. Put this layer immediately in a watch glass containing water. Take a glass slide, put a drop of water on it and transfer a small piece of the peel from the watch glass to the slide. Put a drop of iodine solution on this piece followed by a cover slip with the help of a mounting needle. Put this slide under low power followed by high powers of a compound microscope. All these structures are similar to each other. Discovery of Cell Who discovered cell first? The cells were first discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. He examined a thin slice of cork under a primitive microscope and saw that the cork resembled the structure of a honeycomb consisting of many little compartments. Robert Hooke called these boxes cells. First living cell was discovered by Leeuwenhoek in 1674. He observed this cell in pond water with the help of improved microscope. Notable scientists Robert Brown In 1831, he discovered the nucleus in the cell. Jan Evangelista Perkinje In 1839, he coined the term protoplasm for the fluid substance of the cell. Scladen and Squan In 1838 and 1839, they both proposed the cell theory. According to that, all the plants and animals are composed of cells and that the cell is the basic unit of life. Varsho In 1855, the cell theory was further expanded by him. He suggested that all cells are arising from pre-existing cells. Types of Organisms Unicellular Organisms Multicellular Organisms In unicellular organisms, a single cell may constitute a whole organism. Example, amoeba, chlamydomonas, paramecium and bacteria. In multicellular organism, many cells group together in a single body and assume different functions in it to form various body parts. Example, some fungi, plants and animals. Each living cell has the capacity to perform certain basic functions that are characteristic of all living forms, that is, cells of heart to pump blood, cells of stomach to digest food, etc. Each cell contains certain specific components within it, known as cell organelles. Each kind of cell organelle performs a special function, such as making new material in the cell, clearing up the waste material from the cell, etc. Plasma membrane and its functions. What is a cell made up of? While studying the cell under a microscope, we will find three common features in almost every cell. Plasma membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm which are responsible for all activities inside the cell and interactions of the cell with its environment. Plasma membrane. This is the outermost covering of the cell 
that separates the contents of the cell from its external environment. The plasma membrane allows or permits the entry and exit of some materials in and out of the cell. It also prevents movement of some other materials. The cell membrane, therefore, is called a selectively permeable membrane. Diffusion Some substances like carbon dioxide or oxygen can move across the cell membrane by a process called diffusion. This is spontaneous movement of a substance from a region of high concentration to a region where its concentration is low. Thus, diffusion plays an important role in gaseous exchange between the cells as well as the cell and its external environment. Plasma membrane and its functions. Osmosis. The movement of water molecules through such a selectively permeable membrane is called osmosis. Thus, osmosis is the passage of water from a region of high water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane to a region of low water concentration. In this process, the solution can be of three types. Hypertonic solution, isotonic solution, hypotonic solution. Hypotonic solution, if the medium surrounding the cell has a higher water concentration than the cell, meaning that the outside solution is very dilute, the cell will gain water by osmosis and the cell is likely to swell up. Such a solution is known as a hypotonic solution. A hypertonic solution. If the medium has lower concentration of water than the cell, meaning that it is a very concentrated solution, the cell will lose water by osmosis and the cell is likely to shrink. Such a solution is known as a hypertonic solution. Isotonic solution. If the medium has exactly the same water concentration as the cell, there will be no net movement of water across the cell membrane and the cell stays the same size. Such a solution is known as an isotonic solution. Functions of plasma membrane Unicellular freshwater organisms and most plant cells tend to gain water through osmosis. Absorption of water by plant roots is also an example of osmosis. Thus, diffusion is important in exchange of gases and water in the life of a cell. The cell also obtains nutrition from its environment. Different molecules move in and out of the cell through a type of transport requiring use of energy in the form of ATP. The plasma membrane is flexible and is made up of organic molecules called lipids and proteins. The flexibility of the cell membrane also enables the cell to engulf in food and other materials from its external environment. Such processes are known as endocytosis. Amoeba takes its food through such processes. Assessment Drag and drop the correct option into its respective box. Cell wall and its functions Cell wall Plant cells have another rigid outer covering called the cell wall that lies outside the plasma membrane. The plant cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose. Cellulose is a complex substance and provides structural strength to plants. When a living plant cell loses water through osmosis, there is shrinkage or contraction of the contents of the cell away from the cell wall. This phenomenon is known as plasmolysis. Functions of cell wall Cell wall provides the rigidity and strength to cell and also permits the cells of plants, fungi and bacteria to withstand very dilute hypotonic external media without bursting by building up pressure against it. Nucleus and its functions Nucleus the nucleus has a double layered covering called nuclear membrane. The nuclear membrane has pores which allow the transfer of material from inside the nucleus to its outside, that is, to the cytoplasm. The nucleus contains chromosomes 
which are visible as rod-shaped structures only at time of cell division. Chromosomes contain information for inheritance of features from parents to the next generation in the form of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid molecules. Chromosomes are composed of DNA and protein. Functional segments of DNA are called genes. Whenever the cell is about to divide, the chromatin material gets organized into chromosomes. In some organisms like bacteria, the nuclear region of the cell may be poorly defined due to the absence of a nuclear membrane. These organisms are known as prokaryotes. Organisms with cells having a nuclear membrane are called eukaryotes. Functions of Nucleus The nucleus plays a central role in cellular reproduction, the process by which a single cell divides and forms two new cells. It also regulates the cellular activities. Cytoplasm and its functions Cytoplasm The cytoplasm is the fluid content inside the plasma membrane. It also contains many specialized cell organelles. Each of these organelles performs a specific function for the cell. Functions of cytoplasm In cytoplasm, all cell organelles are embedded. Assessment Match the following. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. In 1665, Robert Hooke discovered cell first. On the basis of presence of single or many cells, the organisms are of two types, unicellular and multicellular organisms. Each cell contains certain specific components within it, known as cell organelles, that perform a special function. Plasma membrane is the outermost covering of the cell that separates the contents of the cell from its external environment. Plasma membrane also works as selective permeable membrane by allowing or permitting the entry and exit of some materials in and out of the cell while preventing some other materials. The movement of water molecules from region of a higher water concentration to lower water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane is called osmosis. Plant cells have another rigid outer covering called the cell wall that lies outside the plasma membrane. The plant cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose and provides strength to the cell. Nucleus is a spherical or oval dot-like structure present near to the center of each cell. It plays a central role in cellular reproduction and it also regulates the cellular activities. The cytoplasm is the fluid content inside the plasma membrane. It also contains many specialized cell organelles.